The tagline of this show is build a better business by building a better you. That's our goal and belief here at One Simple Thing, that the success we enjoy in life is a direct result of who we become on the inside. That's also the point of the book, The Miracle Morning for Salespeople by Hal Elrod and Ryan Snow. Ryan is with me today. He's going to talk about that link between who we become as people and the level of sales and success we experience in business. It's coming up on the One Simple Thing podcast. It's time to build a better business by building a better you. This is One Simple Thing. Welcome to the show. Dave Kirby with you. I'm uh, pleased to welcome back into the studio here with me today again, author, sales leader, business coach, uh, Ryan Snow, along with Hal Elrod. He co-authored the book, The Miracle Morning for Salespeople, the fastest way to take yourself and your sales to the next level. Uh, and I'm really excited to uh, talk to Ryan. Today's our recap show. We've been uh, talking over the last four episodes. Today, I'm pulling in clips and kind of uh, add my own thoughts to them as well. So let's get started here. On episode 561, we started at the beginning. Ryan and I talked about how a strong morning routine can help us in our sales uh, through energy and focus and other ways as well. What happens is we overlook how important things like that are to business, Right. People in, there's a whole section where you and I can talk about energy and how it affects sales, but uh, energy is one of the key components to any interaction that we have with anybody. I mean, if whatever energy you're bringing to the table is going to transfer, and so those simple things are important. Uh, it brings clarity, so it's gonna it it gives some space for people to think about their business instead of working on it all the, or in it all the time that they get a chance to work on it and sort of step outside the role of just running and being the business and actually figuring out like, how do I drive it? Where's it going next? And so it opens up that opportunity. Um, I think it makes us better problem solvers definitely because we're not putting out fires all the time. We're, we're ahead. We can pre plan for things a little bit better. Um, and so those are some of the things, I mean, confidence, a a huge piece of it is just building confidence personally, which definitely comes across in every one of your business interactions. Yeah. Confidence comes from knowing that I've built something inside that I can be confident in. Confidence is not just something, you know, fake it till you make it kind of a thing, right? You, you've got to, you've got to, I mean, confidence comes from knowing I've got the goods inside that I can, I can go out and deliver. Definitely. Yeah. And so and I think that's true both personally and in business. I mean, that's where all of these things just sort of correlate one over the other, Uh, just like you had mentioned before, is that, yes, I want to have confidence personally. Right. I want to have confidence in who I am and what my message is. But the same thing rings true for your business. How confident are you in your brand and what you say you're going to deliver for people? And how often are you questioning that and making sure like, how are we consistently increasing the value that we bring to our clients and our prospects? When it comes right down to business, isn't that the goal, right? To consistently increase the value that we bring to others. That's how we experience success, offer massive value to others that they're willing to pay money for. That's kind of what uh, Ryan is teaching us on these episodes. So the Miracle Morning is a routine that's based on a strategy developed by Ryan's co-author, Hal Elrod, in his uh, best-selling book, The Miracle Morning. And it's all based on an acronym called SAVERS. Uh, We can't cover all six of those strategies that are represented by that acronym on today's recap. You'll have to go back and listen to the episodes, especially episode 562, because we cover all of those. But we'll uh, we'll touch on the first one here, silence or meditation, S for silence. First, I asked Ryan how long we should spend on each strategy. It can be flexible. Uh, I would say start with 10 minutes each so you're not neglecting one area for another, but you may find that affirmations might not take 10 minutes. It might take five, and you might want 15 minutes to exercise or read. And so uh, I think it's personal, definitely. But I would start out with 10 just, just to start the practice and build the habit. Silence, pretty uh, explanatory, right? Prayer, meditation, whatever it is that uh, kind of uh, helps you just to quiet down and center yourself, right? Just to yeah. just to kind of get within yourself uh, and open yourself up to the world around you. Right. And it could be as simple as deep breathing. And for some people, this is a struggle. Like I find with business and salespeople, this can be one of the hardest and most profound things for people to be able to do because I know for me, this was one of the most difficult areas to start because my brain is always going in a million directions. I have a a million ideas and I just got to figure out which 
three are actually good. And, uh, and sometimes that's an ongoing constant process. And so it was really important for me to practice and get good at that. Uh, one thing that really helped me was, uh, having guided meditations at first and then slowly breaking away from there. And I had to build up time. Uh, 10 minutes for me was way too long for silence in the beginning. And now I could do 20, no problem. Uh, and so I think it's a skill that we practice. And again, we don't have time to cover the other five strategies contained in that SAVERS acronym. If you want to hear the rest of them, go back to episode 562 and uh, Ryan walks us through each one individually. Ryan says a key to greater sales is better management of ourselves, specifically our time and our money. And on episode 563, Ryan shared five keys to better self-management. Yeah, definitely, Dave. So the first one is just take 100% responsibility. Uh, It's all about owning the problem, fixing it. It's not about blame and figuring out who's at fault. Uh, It's about living with integrity. It's about doing the things you say you're going to do. And that comes along with time management, which is what we teach a lot in that section. Uh, The second one is about becoming financially free and freeing up your resources uh, in in order to be able to do that. Uh, And then three is put fitness first. Uh, and so we're going to talk about energy and things in the next segment. So, uh, we can talk about that then, but, uh, number four is systematize your world. How do we build efficiency into our lifestyle, uh, and, uh, build leverage and efficiency in, and then five is commit to the process, uh, have belief. So once you've determined what's the path I need to take, then be a hundred percent committed to, uh, following that process and seeing it through and keeping yourself on that path through accountability. The first one is take 100% responsibility. And that's, for what our the way we act, the way we've dealt with other people, for how we spend our time, all of those things, right? Definitely, yeah, all of those things. There's so many things that we come into contact in business with that we maybe don't have any control over, and so we could e- we have two options at that point. We could either blame all the outside things that are going on around us that we don't have control over, or we could take responsibility for ourselves and our business and say, here's where we want to be, and ask the question, what do we need to do to get there? And a big part of that is managing ourself and our activity, but uh, where are we spending our time is probably the biggest area for improvement. Ryan had some really interesting things to say about both uh, time and money. Uh, Again, we go into more depth about those five keys to better self-management on episode 563. So again, I just hope you'll go back and listen to these episodes in their entirety if you missed them. Uh, On 564, it was all about having the energy necessary to take our lives, our sales, and our business to the next level. Ryan says, and I love this, sales is an energy sport. Yeah, we, we call it an energy sport, a contact sport. And so uh, when I call it a contact sport, I say it's because we are constantly have to be in contact with so many people. Um, and then I also say because some days it feels like you got hit by the linebacker so many times. <laughs> and so when we talk about energy, it's because sales can be – uh, a, a couple things. One, energy transfers. So it's important what we bring to the table is sort of what we're going to see in our clients. But also sales can be a long and grueling process. And so there are days that are not as good as others. And we are a very results driven society. And so when we talk about sales, it's really activity that's the most important. And sometimes we don't see the results until the long run. So we don't see the immediate response. And so there's nothing that's refueling us. And so we have to refuel ourselves. And so sometimes we just need to have the stamina to keep pushing forward in order to be able to get to the point we need to be in our business to start seeing the results. And it's not just about the physical stamina, but also the kind of the mental stamina, right? The mental energy that it takes to keep pushing forward. And that's directly connected to my physical health. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, the physical energy, the mental energy, the emotional and spiritual energy, all of those are a piece of this, definitely. So you talk about six uh, quick tips or six areas of focus that we can use to improve our level of energy and fitness and stamina and focus. Can we go through each of those six? Sure. Yeah. And and I think that when I cover them, you're going to go, oh, these are so simple. Um, and I and I think they are. I think the important part in bringing them to light is for people to realize how they relate to their business. Like these are things we might think about in our home life, but we don't think like, oh, I, you know what? I lost that sale because I just didn't bring enough energy or I haven't been taking care of myself or I was really dehydrated and just nothing good came across or I didn't sleep last night. We don't always connect the two. And so Uh, The six tips are, one is uh, about sleep, and you wouldn't necessarily expect that out of the miracle morning where we tell people to get up early, Um, but rest is the opportunity to clear the mind and regenerate the body, and so questions around, am I getting enough sleep? Is it at the right time? Uh, Do I have a schedule? Do I have a routine? Is there a habit around it? 
um, and all of those questions about making sure that we're giving ourselves uh, the chance to regenerate because a, a day of sales can can be a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of mentally uh, straining conversations sometimes and just emotional ups and downs. And so we need sleep for all of those reasons. And Sean Stevenson's probably got one of the better books out there on it called Sleep Smarter. And uh, I would definitely recommend people check that out about sleep and, and making sure they're doing things to regenerate their body. All the episodes this week were ones where we're kind of listing out five or six different strategies, uh, kind of a, a checklist of things. And that uh, latest episode, 564, is no exception. So uh, Ryan offers six tips to uh, more energy and better focus in episode 564. We touched on one of them, which was sleep. If you want to hear the other five, again, you have to go back and listen to the episode. Or even better yet, pick up a copy of uh, Ryan's book, co-authored with Hal Elrod. It's The Miracle Morning for Salespeople, the fastest way to take yourself and your sales to the next level. We have a banner ad on our website. You can check it out at onesimplethingonline.com. Right on the right-hand side of the page, you'll see the banner, and it will take you where you can get your copy of the book. Also, there's a workbook that's available. Help you walk uh, through some of these strategies and uh, get more uh, detailed and in-depth help, individualized help when you go through the workbook. So that's also available on the website. And again, just click on that banner ad at onesimplethingonline.com. Thank you for listening today. Hey, I've got a special video on the website uh, with me and Alex Sharfin. We are teaming up together for something Alex calls constructive company. This is, uh, and I'm a small business owner, and I know I get frustrated sometimes feeling like, you know, things aren't growing as fast as I want them to, or I really don't know what I'm doing in this area or that area. What do I do to take my business to the next level? If you have ever wondered that, then Constructive Company is for you. Alex has been a coach to Fortune 500 companies, literally billionaire CEOs and clients, and the, the same coaching that he offers and they pay thousands for you're going to be able to get in his online video series, Constructive Company. Uh, also, and we're going to go through, through this together. I'm going to go through it with you. Also, at the end of our time going through this program, uh, Alex is going to join us for a special uh, webinar where you'll be able to interact with him and ask him questions. And he honestly doesn't do this for anybody. It would normally cost thousands of dollars to do that. He's doing it specifically for us here at One Simple Thing. So if you'd like to join us going through the Constructive Company program, uh, watch the video on the website uh, and sign up. And we're going to be going through that here over the next few weeks and then uh, checking back in with Alex for that webinar. Again, just watch the video at onesimplethingonline.com and let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'm Dave Kirby. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. 